let's solve the problems of exercise 4.2 the very first question x square minus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0 so to factorize this we have to search for two numbers such that their product is minus 10 and the addition is minus 3 so the two numbers are minus 5 and 2 so x square minus 5x plus 2x minus 10 is equal to 0 or x into x minus 5 plus 2 into x minus 5 is equal to 0 or x minus 5 times x plus 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, if the product of two numbers is 0, then either of the number must be 0 or both can be zeros. So let us equate x minus 5 is equal to 0 and then x plus 2 is equal to 0. So if we solve this, x is equal to 5 and x is equal to minus 2. Therefore, the solution set is 5 and minus 2. So this is the solution for first. Now let's do for the second one 2x square plus x minus 6 is equal to 0. So here the product must be minus 12 and addition is plus 1. So here we can write 4 and minus 3. Their product is minus 12 and then their addition is plus 1. So 2x square plus 4x minus 3x minus 6 is equal to 0. So 2x is common in the first part. So x plus 2 and here minus 3 is common. Again we get x plus 2. So x plus 2 is common in both the two. Therefore x plus 2 into 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. So we have to equate x plus 2 is equal to 0 which gives us x is equal to minus 2. 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 which tells us x is equal to 3 by 2. Therefore here the solution set is minus 2 3 by 2. Now let's do the third one root 2x square plus 7x plus 5 root 2 is equal to 0. So here the product is root 2 into 5 root 2. That means we should get a product 10 and their sum must be equal to 7. So the two numbers are 5 and 2. So root 2 x square plus 5x plus 2x plus 5 root 2. This is all equal to 0. Now if you take the common x then it becomes root 2x plus 5 and if you take root 2 as common then it becomes root 2x plus 5 that is all equal to 0 therefore root 2x plus 5 times x plus root 2 is equal to 0. So root 2x plus 5 is equal to 0. Therefore x is equal to minus 5 by root 2 or x plus root 2 is equal to 0 or x is equal to minus 
root 2. Therefore, the solution set is minus 5 by root 2 and minus root 2. So, in this, as right hand side is 0, better you multiply everything by 8. Then it becomes 16x square minus 8x plus 1 is equal to 0. So, this is fairly appearing as 4x minus 1 whole square is equal to 0 or 4x is equal to 1 or x is equal to 1 by 4. Therefore, the solution set is 1 by 4 and 1 by 4. This can be splitted into two middle terms also. The other way, 16x square. If you multiply, we should get 16. And if you add, we should get minus 8. Therefore, 16x square minus 4 and minus 4 is the pair. So, in this, you can take 4x as common. 4x minus 1 and here if you take minus 1, 4x minus 1 is equal to 0, 4x minus 1 times 4x minus 1 is equal to 0, 4x minus 1 is equal to 0 or the other one is also 4x minus 1 therefore x is equal to 1 by 4 and here from this also x is equal to 1 by 4. So next, the fifth problem. The fifth problem, 100x square minus 20x plus 1 is equal to 0. Again, this is nothing but 10x minus 1 whole square is equal to 0, 10x is equal to 1 or x is equal to 1 by 10. As it is quadratic equation, it will have two roots. The two roots are 1 by 10 and 1 by 10. This can be done as we have done the fourth one like the 20x can be this fifth one by factorization. So 100x square, if you multiply you should get 100 and if you add we should get minus 20. So minus 10 and minus 10 is the pair. So we can write minus 10x plus 1 and we can take 10x as common here. So it becomes 10x minus 1 and here minus 1 is common. Therefore, 10x minus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, 10x minus 1 times 10x minus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, 10x is equal to 1 or again 10x is equal to 1. So, x is equal to 1 by 10 and here also x is equal to 1 by 10. So, solution set is 1 by 10 and 1 by 10. 10. Now, in the second question, it is given that solve the equations from the example 1. So, I have noted the example 1 equations are x square minus 4x plus 324 is equal to 0. Second one is x square minus 55x plus 750 is equal to 0. So, let us do the first one. x square minus 4x plus 324 to 0. So, here if you multiply, we get 324 and if you add, we have to get minus 45. To deal with higher numbers, we have to better write the factors for it. So, the factors are 324 can be written as 2 2s are 4, 4 9s are 36 and this is 9.
so 36 and 9 are when when you add 36 and 9 you will get 45 so therefore the required required pair is 36 and 9 now this can be written as x square minus 36x minus 9x plus 324 which is equal to 0. Now here x times x into minus 36 minus 9 into x minus 9 threes are 27, 9 six are 54. Therefore, x minus 36 into x minus 9 is equal to 0. Therefore, x minus 36 is equal to 0 or x minus 9 is equal to 0. x is equal to 36 or x is equal to 9. So, therefore, the solution set is 36 and 9. Nine. Now the next problem is x square minus 55x plus 750. So here 750 have the factors as 25 and 30. And when you add these two numbers, you are getting minus 55. Therefore, we can write it as x square minus 25x minus 30x plus 750 which is equal to 0. In these two x is common x into x minus 25 and in these two 30 is common x minus 25. 25 threes are 75. And that 0, 750. So x minus 25 times x minus 30, this is equal to 0. Therefore, x minus 25 is equal to 0, or x minus 30 is equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to 25, or x is equal to 30. Therefore, the solution set is 5 and 30. Now, let's do the third problem. Find two numbers whose sum is 27 and product is 182. So, sum is 27 and product is 182. Let one number let one of the numbers be x then as their sum is 27 the other number must be 27 minus x Now, their product is 182. Therefore, x times 27 minus x is equal to x times 27 minus x is equal to 182. So, this is 27x minus x square that is all equal to 182. If you shift this to that side, x square minus 27x plus 182 is equal to 0. Now we have to search for the factors of 
182 such that the addition is 27. So 182 to 91s and 3 13 sevens. So the factors for 182 is 2, 13 and then 7. So here you can write it as 14, 7 into 2 and plus 13. So x square minus 14x minus 13x plus 182 is equal to 0. Then this here x times x minus 14 minus 13 times 13 14s are 182 x minus 14 therefore x minus 14 times x minus 13 is equal to 0 x is equal to 14 or x is equal to 13 therefore the solution set is 14 and 13 we can check it back if you add these two are coming to be 27 14 plus 13 suppose if you multiply 14 into 13 13 fours are 52 13 ones are 13 plus 5 182 so 13 plus uh, if you multiply 13 fours to 13 ones are 13 plus 5 18 so total is i mean the product is 182 so our verification has come true. Now the thing is, fourth question. In this, find two consecutive positive integers. So consecutive means if one of the number integers be x, then other must be x plus 1 as they are consecutive one after the other and the sum of whose squares so sum of squares is 365 that is x square and x plus 1 whole square be equal to 365 according to given condition. Now let us solve this one. x square, if you open this bracket, if you expand it, x square plus 2x plus 1, that is all equal to 365. Now x square plus x square, 2x square plus 2x plus 1 minus 365 is equal to 0 or 2x square plus 2x minus 364 is equal to 0. Now, if you divide throughout by 2, x square plus x minus 182 is equal to 0. Just now, in the previous problem, we have talked about the product of 182 means 14 and 13. Here, as it is negative, 1 should be positive, one number, the other number should be negative. So, and here positive is required. Therefore, plus 14 and the minus 13. So, when we write x square plus 14x minus 13x minus 182 is equal to 0. Now, when we take the LCM x into x minus x plus x into x plus 14 minus 13 times x plus 14 is equal to 0. Therefore, x plus 14 times x minus 13 is 
equal to 0, x is equal to 14 with negative, or x is equal to 13 with positive. Therefore, the numbers would be, so if we solve this one, x plus 14 is equal to 0, and x minus 13 is equal to 0. So, x is equal to minus 14 or x is equal to 13. So, here positive integers are required. Therefore, so we take only 13 as the solution. Therefore, the two numbers, the two required integers 13 and 14 as positive is given. Suppose if simply integers are given, this could be another solution minus 14 and then minus 13. But here in the question it is positive integers only asked. Now let's solve the problem number 5. In this problem, the altitude of right angle is 7 centimeters less than its base. So, if the base is considered as x, the altitude is 7 less than the base. Therefore, it should be x minus 7. And the hypotenuse is 13. Find the other two sides. So, here by applying the Pythagoras theorem, we can write x square plus x minus 7 whole square is equal to 13 square. Therefore, x square plus x square minus 14x plus 49 is equal to 169. Now, this is going to be 2x square minus 14x plus 49 minus 169 which is equal to 0. Therefore, 2x square minus 14x minus 169 minus 49 therefore, it is going to be 120 is equal to 0. Now, if you divide throughout by 2, then we will get x square minus 7x minus 60 is equal to 0. Now, we have to search for two factors such that their product is minus 60 and their addition is minus 7. Certainly, one must be positive, the other one must be negative. Then only minus 60 will come. The pair is 12 and 5 minus 12 and plus 5. Therefore, x square minus 12x plus 5x minus 60 is equal to 0. Now, this would be x into x minus 12 plus 5 into x minus 12 which is equal to 0. Therefore, x minus 12 times x plus 5 which is equal to 0 or x minus 12 is equal to 0, x plus 5 is equal to 0. By solving x is equal to 12 or x is equal to minus 5. But as we are considering the base length is x length cannot be negative therefore this solution is discarded x is equal to 12 that means base is 12 and altitude is 5 less than this that is 12 minus 7 less than that so 12 minus 7 which is equal to
5. If it is in centimeters, we write centimeters as the answer for it. Now, sixth problem. Let the number of articles produced be x. Then, what is the therefore cost would be 3 more that is plus 3 twice the number of articles that is 2x. So, this is the cost per each article. Okay, if the total cost of production of that day was 90, therefore total cost x times 2x plus 3 because the cost per each article times the number of articles that is all equal to 90 as per the given problem. Therefore, 2x square plus 3x this 90 comes to this side minus 90 is equal to 0 or here you have to get uh, the product as minus 180 and the sum as plus 3. So, 12 15 180. So, 2x square plus 15x minus 12x minus 90 is equal to 0. So, here if you take x as common, x into 2x plus 15 and here minus 6 into 2x plus 15 is equal to 0 or 2x plus 15 times x minus 6 is equal to 0. 2x is equal to 2x plus 15 is equal to 0 or x minus 6 is equal to 0. Now, by solving, x is equal to minus 15 by 2 and here x is equal to 6. As x is the number of articles we considered, therefore it cannot be negative. Therefore, this solution is discarded and this is the final solutions. solution. Now, here find the number of articles produced. So, each article is cost of each article is 2 times x plus 3. That is going to be 2 into 6 plus 3 which is 15. How many articles produced? Number of articles produced. x that is equal to 6. Now we can verify 6 into 15 is equal to 90. If you like the way of the solving problems, you can subscribe to this channel so that in future you will get the solutions of all the problems of NCRT textbook.